Hi guys, welcome to Piping Welding and DD channel. So this is WFS, okay? So what is WFS? So WFS is Welding Procedure Specification. So this is WFS, okay? In WFS, we have company name Welding procedure, supporting PQR, welding process, Jitao Small. So Jitao Small is gas, tungsten arc welding, and sheet metal arc welding. Okay. Bye. Okay. Piping welding and the channel. So they have day types is manual. Okay. And what code? So this is code. So we have code ASME 9. So in the box we have X code, we have code FEI 1104 ASME 31.3. So this is a process and ASME 31.4 and AWSD 1.1. Okay. So next is in WFS we have joints. So joints. So this is joints design single but single V but and we have backing and in this uh, uh, single V so this is a single V so we have standard of angle so we have 37.5 positive negative 2.5 degrees okay in the branch connection 45 to 60 degrees and from this letter A, you will see here, 65, 75 degrees, letter B, 0.4 inch, 0.750, and C, so the C is, uh, C is 116, and the gap is 332 or 132, positive negative 132, so they require 332, okay. And also we have base metal. So they are using P number one, group number two. So this is specification type. This one is A33 grade six. So, so this is LTCS. So LTCS is low temp carbon steel. Okay. So they have chemical analysis. So this is our base metal is 0.442 inch. Fillet all. So diameter of pipe is over one inch. Okay. So in the filler metal, they're using. F number 64, A number 10, so spec number 5.28 or 5.5, so AWS number, so this is ER80, okay, and E does 8018C3. So they have size of filler, so this is size of filler, CO332, electrode flux. Okay, so maximum weld metals from GTAO is 0.236 inch and technical approval. So, this is uh, approval by a quality control or a welding inspector. So, next is from the WPS, we have a position. So, position is all. Welding progress is up. Position fillet all, and also we have a free heat. So this is a free heat, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Interface is 450. Maximum. Okay. So we have the WPS. They have a force weld heat treatment. So they have NA non applicable. Okay, and gas. This is a percent composition. 
from shielding, trailing, and backing. Okay, from shielding, uh, gas is argon and 99.99% mixture. So our flow rate is 20, that's 25 CFH. So we have also electrical characteristic. So this is AC, D, AC or DC. So we are there using DC. So amperage is G tau. 130 dash 135 and small is 110 to 120 so priority polarity is g tau electro negative and electro positive we have both range g tau 14 dash 6 and 26 28 for small okay so tungsten electrode size and type so this is 332 inch 2 percent toriated this is a pure tungsten 2 percent toriated etc okay. so technique there are also technique so string and wave both and we have orifice gas cap size this is a six cap size maximum wave so three times electrode okay so the maximum wave is three times electrode and So we have method blocking NA, 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 we have multi or single fast, multiple or single. So this is single for so electrodes. So they have a travel speed 2 to 5 IFN. So finning NA, 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 other. So this is weld layer or process. Okay, the, what uh, filler are using? diameter so polarity and ampere volt travel speed and heat input okay so this is root and hat is g tau and uh, rem is small so e80 18 okay so next is so this is so this is a VQR. Okay, so VQR procedure qualification record. Okay. Company name. Okay. What code? And this is a joint, design joint, base metal, filler metal, position, free heat. Okay, this is a type of free PQR. And this is also welding procedure qualification record okay so this is record qualification record tensile, tensile test we have guided bend test hardness in fact toughness test okay so next is so this is a report from this is a WPS Charfi Impact of VNAT test, VNAT test result. So this is it. Okay. So this is all a WPS and for all were there, well there, you must check the WPS before you start welding okay so what design what are you using process so here all here in the WPS okay so this is a WPS so thanks for watching guys I hope you have learned regarding this uh, what is WPS and this is yours and you have uh, this is for familiarize for the uh, procedure or the specification of the uh, company okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day see you next my video guys bye bye hi guys welcome to piping welding and dt channel so this video is regarding uh, what is the or 
kinds of uh, or kinds of a uh, well defect okay and why why uh, why uh, they have a reason why your welding or a weldment is rejected okay okay so this is the first so this is the first um well defect okay so if you see here they have a misalignment of the five okay so this is the first defect miss edge or the miss alignment so this is the misalignment and this is the five and this is also the five okay. based on a uh, based on a codes or a okay, code uh, and a standard they have a tolerance from this uh, alignment okay in this uh, uh, inspector there are no in the welder uh, welding inspector there are no the tolerance of this uh, five misalignment and they are referring for the uh, codes and the uh, project specification project spec and the uh, WPS and so on okay so next so this is a misalignment and I will draw again another another well defect So this is a incomplete penetration. So here. So this is the incomplete penetration or LV or lack of penetration. Okay, this is a lack of penetration. So where next? So the reason why, uh, the reason during fit up, incorrect fit up, or uh, narrow gap. So this is the reason why LV or incomplete penetration. Okay. So next drawing. Sorry about my drawing, not good. But the important here is you must know what is the dual defect. Okay, so this defect is lack of fruit fusion. So the lack of fruit fusion is here, and we have also here. So this is a lack of fusion okay reason the reason why i think this is a weld uh, welding speed welding speed or the incorrect amperage or low amperage or incorrect waving so that the defect is coming from this lack of fusion okay so next defect So if you encounter this, if you see like this, so this is uh, undercut, okay, undercut, so this is an uh, undercut. This is also incorrect, average, okay. So next is. This is an uh, underfill, okay. This is a swallow cup. I mean, this is a swallow cup, okay, or a lack of lack of reinforcement, okay. We have 
this is our alignment of pipe and this is the weld man okay so this is a swallow cup so the defect here this is uh, underfill so this is our uh, alignment of pipe and the underfill is here okay so this is a uh, under fill so this is also a lack of reinforcement lack of reinforcement okay so next so this is a uh, excessive uh, reinforcement excessive reinforcement so what is excessive reinforcement here so this is our excessive reinforcement okay in the project specification or the wps or specific uh, codes they have a tolerance from the excessive uh, reinforcement okay some is standard the three times of three times of thickness okay so this is excessive reinforcement of our excess penetration from root and from face so next so this defect is a concavity okay so this is a concavity or a suck up so a suck up here is from the root pass here so this is a suck up the reason why they have is a uh, excess uh, excessive amperage high amperage and they have incorrect incorrect waving okay so so that the uh, suck up is or concavity so next the fact is if you see this one in the weld face okay this is a rough this is not good okay if you see API specters coming this is also a rejected so this is an event profile okay a rough end this is a rough welding surface so this is not good so this is another weld defect and another well defect is so this is a overlap okay overlap so this is our uh, bevel and too much this is the overlap this is a weld face and this is our defect okay overlap so next defect is so this is a, a slug inclusion okay so a slug inclusion here they have a slug inclusion here it's also a slug and a slug so now so we have a three slug and the reason why they have a sound correct waving also incorrect webbing and during a uh, root pass and hot pass the welder not uh, what do you call that not uh, cleaning or removing the slug so this is slug inclusion okay so next defect is So if you see this one, so this is a uh, porosity, okay, porosity, because uh, during, uh, because of welding without, without um, protection. The condition of your uh, environment during welding the too much wind windy and you have no protection okay 
or the welding rod is not dried and also incorrect waving or the gas incorrect uh, flow of gas so that the porosity is coming out from the weldment okay this is also a uh, rejected okay next defect so next defect is this is a uh, the tank tungsten inclusion okay this is a tungsten inclusion so this is uh the reason is a weld this is a welding vid during jitao okay during this is a during jitao so jitao is a gas tank tanks tungsten arc welding so mixing of a tax mixing of a tungsten from the weldment so this tungsten tungsten electrode so this is also a weld defect so next defect is so this is a oxidation oxidation root So this is not good routing okay so this is oxidation root bead okay this is incorrect forging from the stainless from the forging is using only only from the stainless pipe okay so that oxidation is coming out so next effect So this is a whole oxidation, okay, on the root bead during during small, okay, in the root bead. So this is a burn through. So this is a burn through. Oxidation from the root during small. So small is. So what is small? So this is small sheet metal are welding okay next is so this is a a hollow vid okay defect caused by this contamination from the root during uh during jitao okay from the is this is from the stainless five okay this is hollow vid hollow bead okay so next defect so next defect is a crack okay so this is a not good if you see the uh, in this in the weldment they have a crack this is also a rejected okay you are not seeing from your visual eyes this crack coming out from this weldment after RT or this is a uh, NDT inspection you will see the crack and it is non-destructive examination and non-destructive test okay you will see the crack in the film okay from the this is from the NDT technician they know what is this film from the radiography testing okay this is another defect is crack okay guys so we will review it all the weld defect okay so we have a misalignment we have a misalignment we have include in a uh, lack of penetration or incomplete penetration we have a lack root of fusion we have undercut so what else so we have underfill we have excessive penetration we have concavity or suck up and we have a swallow cup 
and we have a slug inclusion porosity or an even an even profile overlap so that is all a well defect okay and they have some reason from the weld defect so thanks for watching guys i hope you have uh, learned about uh, my video regarding weld defect and don't forget to subscribe and comment my video and also what is your rating in my video okay See you guys and have a nice day. Bye bye. Here we go again. Hi guys and thanks for watching and subscribing. Uh, now uh, let's discuss SAW identification system. So first, what is SAW? So SAW is Submerged Arc Welding okay. What is the meaning of SAW? Okay. So anyway, we are discussing about uh, um, SAW Filler Metal Identification System So, SAW Metal Identification System We have F X X X X X okay. So, this is the SAW Identification System in this uh, letter, they have a uh, different meaning. And first, this F. This F means uh, indicates this uh, flux. Okay. And we have another X here. Uh, this indicates for uh, tensile, minimum tensile strength increment in a 10,000 PSI so 10,000 PSI or 69 MPA okay. and this another X is designated for is a condition for the heat treatment we have A here this one for a heat treatment XT. We have A and P here for a heat treatment. A and P. So they have a different meaning of this A and P. So A is for the weld and of a P is a post weld heat treated. Okay. So A is for the welded and the P is the first head sheet treated okay. and this another X this uh, indicates for the lowest lowest temperature in fact the strength of the weld metal referred above or exceed this uh, exceed the 20 20 foot pound or this is a 27 joule okay and, and this E we have E and EC from this uh, meaning of E so meaning of E means we have a solid electrode and the uh, EC this uh, EC is a composite electrode this meaning of E okay and this another X we have L here 
M and H. So what is L, M and H? So we have a, a low, we have a medium, and we have a high. Okay. This is uh, manganese, uh, manganese content or uh, or C or C we have a composite electrode from this X low medium high this um, uh, manganese content we have a low medium and high okay so this so this all EX XX is a A classification of the electrode. Okay. So we have example. So this is our example for the cell. Okay. F seven A six E M. 12 so this is the example of uh, sow I already discussed you lately is the, what is the meaning of this call okay we have also let's review it we have F flux up this uh, flux indicates flux and this one is the tensile strength 7000 and we have uh, A A is for the welded and uh, we have a P if you see the fee here this is uh, post for post weld heat treated okay so they indicates uh, for the, our example is A this is indicates for the um, uh, for the weld okay and we have a meaning of a uh, six. Okay. This six is, is the uh, impact strength. We have a uh, uh, indicates for the lowest temperature. So our uh, uh, meet or exceed we have a twenty foot pound or twenty seven joule. Okay, and we have E. So this E indicates a solid electrode, and we have also if you see the EC. If this is the meaning of a composite electrode okay and um, we have a 12 here uh, this uh, this is a meaning of um, uh, I mean uh, we have M so this M is a uh, uh, we have uh, L M and H so this M is a medium so this is a manganese content okay a composite or C is a composite electrode and we have a 12k here so this is a meaning of this all is a uh, this is a classification of, of the electrode use okay so this uh, submerged uh, submerged arc welding identification system okay so this uh, this is uh, another one of a welding process submerged are good and this this uh, this method is uh, semi semi automatic okay semi automatic and we have another one example for this saw uh, f 7 a 4 E C one okay. F is a flux set, is a tensile strength, and this uh, as well dead. And this four is for the uh, lowest temperature. E is for uh, uh, electrode, solid electrode, and C is for the composite electrode. Okay. So. It's done and uh, uh, thanks for watching guys and have a nice day see you next time bye